mosquitoes chasing me, man. Damn things. Anyhow, anyhow, uh, we're gonna knock this bolt all the way through and tighten it up. fuel line out of the way. Something like that maybe. And washer nut. Sorry. Let's get this rear shock on. Uh, hardware's on the other engine. washer inside and outside the shock. I may have to come on you. I gotta run the brake cable before we can tighten that. Okay the brake cable has to pass behind that guide on the other side of the shock. forgotten. It seems like too far. Let me see. Well, I can't pinch on the cable. It must pinch on this silver part. So the metallic part. Hardware jumping all around. Something like that, I believe.
little slack now. Let's tighten it up and see. Scoot you back a second. Need new brakes anyways. We're gonna have to replace those. Alright, moving right along. Okay, let's connect up the uh, stator wires. Had to do a bit of a field repair, but anyhow, these are all color co coded white to white. Blue and yellow to blue and yellow. Red and black to red and black. And then uh, we got that ground. All right, I need to take care of that. And then yellow to yellow. I've got trail tech regulator as part of this. Let's go to the other side and get our ground. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Let's connect it on the other side. Welcome back. Uh, this is much better in the shade. Where's that ground wire? All right, so is that in good enough? Make sure they're in good. All right, so I'll need to duck that out of the way. And I've got a throttle cable, um, um, fuel line. Need to clean up that mess. Uh, uh, spark plug. I'll have to do the uh, carburetor later. Yeah, I might have to get another. Uh, throttle cable. I can get rid of this oil thing as well, the oil cable, since I'm no longer running that oil pump. Um, so really, uh, we'll do the spark plug real quick. Okay, battery charge. 16 inch rear tire. Installed. Alright, we put on some new brake shoes in the back. Oh, that got tight quick. Alright, we'll let those seat in. Uh, or we'll seat them in later. So I've got the rear fender, uh, the VM20 carburetor to put on. Uh, i got to tidy up some wiring, see about the throttle cable, and I installed some uh, a carbon fiber reed as well. So, did that pull off? No. Um, and I really need to get a wider rear tire as well. I just wasn't sure what would fit. So I did the 16-inch uh, rear tire on the stock engine with the MLM circuit pipe. I had to go to the 9325 belt uh, to get the pipe to hit again, which is smaller than the stock belt. And once I did, I only gained about a mile an hour or so. Uh, so I could continue to futz with that, but I just don't think the engine has the power uh, to really turn, take advantage of the, that rear wheel. The rear wheel is basically creating too tall a gear. Um, I could, maybe I could squeeze a couple more miles an hour out of it, but we're just going to stick on, well, what we did was we stuck on the uh, kitted engine 
we should have no problem at all turning this 16 inch rear wheel and uh, also got the Molosi final uh, or gear in there as well so I'll have to switch to either the stock belt or the 9325 belt as well on this but yeah carburetor oh, I've got the Sudco adjustable main jet on that for that VM20 so this, that should make jetting a piece of cake uh, so carburetor throttle cable rear fender and some wiring cleanup and we should be tighten up the spark plug of course and we should be ready to go hopefully that uh, helped you out with uh, taking off and reinstalling the Urban Express engine. Until next time. Alright, let's spark it up. We'll tighten that later. And, oh, I gotta change the rear wheel and add the fender too.